And ladies and gentlemen, game number two of Shaft versus Throw. Shaft wins this. They move on. Throw wins this. We go to a game number three. For the side of Shaft, we're seeing a very similar comp, slight differences. Rugamo, Ragnar, Gearing, Moskva, and triple, triple Des Moines. And then the St. Vincent's holding the back line. Interested by the triple Des Moines, and I'll talk about that in a second and explain what I'm intrigued with that by. On the side of Throw, Ragnar, Double Gearing, Des Moines, Des Moines, Moskva, Petro, Ohio, and St. Vincent. So quite a lot of radar. Now, Triple Des Moines is a little interesting to me that they chose to take three Des Moines and one Moskva. Now, the advantage is you get a really long radar, even though the range is shorter than the Russian radars. Um, but I'm intrigued to see, because I expect them to want to position a Des Moines at every cap for that coverage. So I'm expecting a Des Moines somewhere around this island or this island. I doubt they're going to put it there because its nose is just not as strong as some of the other stuff. So it'll get smashed if they do. You're probably going to see a Des Moines set up here. And the, they, I expect to see another one here, but we'll see what ends up happening. It'll be intriguing to watch and see how aggressive they want to position these Des Moines. Now, a ideal spot would be probably trying to get a Des Moines on this island, but I don't know if they can, but it looks like that's what they might do is have the gearing, and I'm going to suspect this is a ledge mod gearing. Yes, it is, ladies and gentlemen. Smoke up the Des Moines, and I'm interested to see where they're going to put kamikazes. Heavy push down to A for the side of... Uh, throw two DDs, two cruisers, and a St. Vincent. And note they've tr switched out the Kremlin for a St. Vincent. I expect to see a hard push down here today. You've got the gearing, which is going to be a assuming a ledge mod gearing. Let's check that. Yep, ledge mod gearing that's going to be pushing uh, down, and he's going to try to smoke up stuff to get it aggressively positioned. And then you got the Ragnar sitting here closer, ready to slap stuff. But let's watch. Here's the radar. Oh, oh, okay, chat. So, different than what I expected, but this is going to be really interesting to see where it goes with this. The gearing has 16 seconds left on his smoke. Des Moines is going to be able to get up to this island. Are they going to try to send the Des Moines to this island? Because I'm wondering if they're sending the Des Moines to this island... To watch down to A and try to be aggressive. Is this a range, Des Moines? This is a... No. Not a range, Des Moines. Ledge mod, Des Moines. Interesting. I'm intrigued by this play. I, I have a couple ideas on what Shaft's doing, but I'm not going to lie. I'm not 100% sure. So... They may just be using this, honestly, as a we're going to smoke up, set a Des Moines in there, and hope that if they try to touch B and then we delete a DD. But Throw hasn't done that, ladies and gentlemen. Throw has the aggressive push going up here to C and the aggressive push to A. And Ragnar taking A and then watch the gearing. Here starts the smoke. You can see the smoke starting for the gearing. Look what they're going to do here. That smoke's going to be up. St. Vincent has speed boosted himself already. He's down, and they're going to have him very aggressively positioned up here to play area denial and use his guns to try to slap the ships that are going to be hiding over here. Ragnar looks like he's in position to dodge the torps. Yep, no problem for him there. Dodges the torps. First cap does go to the side of shaft, but throw responds just a second later, so it'll be just a two-point lead temporarily for the side of shaft. With B being taken by the gearing and no contest, which is honestly very lucky for Throw because they would lose something if they did, they are in a strong spot. So, as we look in here, Gearing of Ginger Ninja spotted by the Des Moines radar. He's trying to cut out. Down to about 22,000 health. More shots coming in. Down to twenty, just under 20,000, but he does get out of the radar range. And we can go from there. But, as we go in and we continue to watch here, ladies and gentlemen, 
Des Moines of Kutuzov moving up. They've now spotted the St. Vincent of Vert. Vert taking some damage. He's going to back off. Ragnar taking a little bit of damage as well, but they took it. And now we're seeing the contest up at sea as well. So St. Vincent spotted the Petro of Jubzi in a position I was expecting uh, to see one of the cruisers at. I'm shocked that there's no cruiser up here for the side of Shaft. They're putting all their eggs in winning the A fight. And this is going to determine a lot down here. We're going to have to keep an eye on both parts of this, ladies and gentlemen. But A is going to determine how this goes. A is going to determine how this goes. Gearing taking a fair amount of damage. He manages to get out. Des Moines now has to watch out. There's another Des Moines, and he's going to immediately start to go forward um, and get out of the way of that Des Moines trying to shoot him. Shots out onto the Ragnar. They've gotten a little bit of damage onto the Ragnar. Des Moines takes a big chunk right there, Demon Slayer does. And here's the fight I was talking about down south. Kath is all the way on the borderline running away. They've smoked the Des Moines of Kutuzov up, and now the Hrugamo is dropping his smoke and that's going to allow them all sorts of movement potential for the side of Shaft. And look at this. They're bringing the other Des Moines in. Issue with this, ladies and gentlemen, this Des Moines is in a very perilous spot. Down to 43,000. The Moskva can come around that corner and really start to work him as well. And I suspect we're about to see that. Moskva is detected. This is becoming a fast fight. And I can't even keep an eye on what's going on up here. So Moskva... Turning out, looks like Kamikazes is the play right now. Here come the shots from the Moskva. Just a couple thousand. Ragnar continues to be the focus. Looks like the Des Moines is going to say, oh, crap, I got to back up. But he continues to work on the Ragnar, trying to get the damage on the Ragnar. And the Des Moines takes an 8k chunk from the Moskva, and that feels rough. Moskva does not have a radar anymore. Des Moines gets backed up and safe. They spot the gearing trying to take A, and now C is being claimed by the side of throw and this one is exploding into an all-out battle ladies and gentlemen this one is exploding into an all-out battle so killer bin Busy getting farmed down by a St. Vincent and Ragnar. Demon Slayer moving up to support and now shots from the Petro as he continues to push up into support Right now, Throw wants to blunt the push and force them back. They want to take as little damage as possible, continue to force these three ships back, win the fight. A has been given up for the time being, and it looks, ladies and gentlemen, like because of that radar. Oh, they do spot the Des Moines. Des Moines sitting on the border. And now Admiral Kutuzov is in trouble, ladies and gentlemen. He's down a lot of health, and he does not have support right now. His radar is down for 90 seconds. I think this is going to be... Nope, the... Spotting is gone, so Admiral Kutuzov will be able to at least make a partial evacuation. Gearing Smoke not going to get him as far as they would like, but a partial evacuation. Big health lead to the side of Shaft, though, ladies and gentlemen. They're up 80,000 80, health. And Admiral Kutuzov spotted. Looks like he might be our first blood. Down to 11,000. Doesn't have a heal for a while. Shells are coming in, ladies and gentlemen. And Throw is going to lose their first ship at eight minutes into the game. Down goes the Des Moines. Now, as we move forward and we continue to look. Des Moines of Demon Slayer and Killer Bin up here. Ohio now pushing forward. At this point, it's changed to the point where now these ships need to win. A has been lost. B is about to be contested. And with the Petro move to the position he is in for Jubzy, he is going to be in a world of hurt pretty soon. They're going to try to use him to prevent this push-up. He does have radar ready. Ragnar has radars, but he has no heals left. And let's watch these torps. If these torps hit, that could be big. Looks like these torps are just going to miss. Focus is in on the St. Vincent. St. Vincent using the heal. He'll be back up to about 50k. But now this becomes an aggressive fight as th Shaft starts to move it up to B. Everybody opening up. Petro Pavlosk starts the radar. He's looking for what he can hit. There comes the gearing out. Shells out from the Ohio. Are those going to hit the St. Vincent? St. Vincent is up to that 50k we talked about. Shots are in, and Kath goes down, ladies and gentlemen. They do manage to get Kath over here, and that's a two-ship lead for the side of Shaft. And Throw can feel 
their chances slipping away in this game. They're down 70,000 health. They're down 300 points. They're down two ships. They can feel their chances slipping away. Jubzy's still looking. He wants to find and get kills. He's being spotted by that gearing, unfortunately. Ragnar doing what he can, but he's got limited health because he can't heal any of that. And taking a look up here, still nothing getting killed up here for the side of throw. They haven't managed to get anything off the field or even close to off the field right now. Shots out on the St. Vincent. Looks like the St. Vincent's going to dodge them. Yes, he will, ladies and gentlemen. And C being capped now by the Ragnar of Shaft. Petra now becomes the target of choice as the Ragnar attempts to flee because he's hurting. Petro down to 53,000. He's taking damage, and now they can start to lob Des Moines shells over the island, but the HE spam is just going to be brutal. Ragnar has gone dark. Near. Gearing and Moskva looking at Majester over there in the Moskva. We'll see what they can do. Petro is just playing a delaying action, trying to get as much damage and maybe a kill. No dice yet on that, though. Your hope here, if you're a throw, is that you can finish off that Moskva and you can finish off that St. Vincent. If you can clear them off the field without losing ships, you can make an attempt at the comeback. But there's a ticking time clock with this Des Moines Harugamo. And here's the push being executed up north, ladies and gentlemen. St. Vincent, Gassando, down to 34,000. He has heals ready, hasn't used one yet. Killer Ben taking a lot of damage. He is healing as he goes through, but that Ragnar is just farming him down. And no great hits on that St. Vincent. He's been doing very well at dodging. But <clears throat> Ohio about to come around the corner on that Des Moines. And we can see the desperation push starting here, ladies and gentlemen. Jubzy down to 17,000. Still hasn't managed to uh, kill off anything. Vert in the St. Vincent is at 17, 18,000. But he's got a heal ready whenever he needs it. And the Des Moines has the Hydro going. Here comes the Ohio. Ohio has another heal in uh, 15 seconds. So he will definitely get that one off. Looks like he's setting up to try to delete the Des Moines through the nose. Guns are all set. Des Moines trying to back up. And, oh, that's the game, ladies and gentlemen. Torps hit while we're watching this fight. And Shaft takes the game 2-0. They are the winner. And they will move on to the next round. Throw will go down to the loser's bracket.